Hey folks, Alan Nursall, Tell Us World of Science Edmonton. Here, I'm still in my kitchen. And you know what I've got in my kitchen today? I have this fancy little piece of magenta colored string. Could be any color, could be any string. And the end of it, I have it looped around an ordinary wire coat hanger. That's all you need for this. And here's the really special thing. I'm gonna show you something, but you're not gonna be able to see the results or experience the results until you try it yourself. So I'm gonna do something that's gonna make me look kinda of stupid, but then you're gonna do it at home, and all you need to do is take your string about a meter long, wrap it around one index finger, wrap it around the other index finger, just like that, so the hanger is hanging in the middle. There we go, and then, you put your fingers in your ears, just like this. And then, you see, if you just take this hanger and just bang it up against things, it sort of makes a rattling sound, you know, it's not very impressive. Do the same thing now with your fingers in your ears. <laughs> that is so good. It will blow your mind. All it does is help you understand the properties of sound. Sound needs a medium to transmit through. It needs molecules moving to get from one place to another. Those molecules can move through air or sound can move waves through steel and string and your fingers and it sounds completely different. Air is actually a lousy medium for sound to pass through. Try this and experience the difference between sound through air and sound through other media. Try that out. Alan Nursall, over and out.